Hello, everybody. It's Thursday. Oh, God. I wanted a nice scenic view. I ha Holy shit. You can block while you're standing up? I didn't know that. Anyway, I wanted a nice scenic view to start the stream, but the, the grayling kind of ruined it, so... It, 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 don't murder me or nothing. Anyway, we're back. It's Thursday. Uh, we're starting the stream like 10-ish minutes earlier. Why not? Uh, so here's the update since last time. I built a little zone going down to the docks out of wood. You'll notice the house is incredibly fucking stable. I don't want to hear any shit talking. <laughs> the house is very stable because we actually have fucking logs to use now, thank god. I have not redone any of the storage, but, you know. We have, we have our window, we have our little bridge with windows. I'm a big fan of windows in this game. You'll figure that out right quick. I don't know, it's just nice to look at shit. Plus, I got the view of the pond, it's so pretty. Also, hey, Ironic, how you doing? So, uh, that, that's, that's the main thing. Uh, I've made this. It's a cartography table. It doesn't really take much to build. Uh, it's oh, one of the yeah. easier things. Yeah, just two bronze is probably the biggest thing. Uh, but let's talk to Hugo. With this table, you can record and share your exploration of the Tenth World. Use the toolbox to record your progress and take a look at this large map to copy what others have explored. So... Deposit the stuff I found, and then I can read the table and everything that uh, Meek's found, we can both share, which is useful. And we can now also see each other's waypoints. That's true. Anything that we've marked. <laughs> Bees. That... Bees. <laughs> um, so yeah, it looks like we've kind of done most of this island, so I'm gonna... I named the stream this for a reason, but the, the goal today is to build a boat and sail. And we need to sail just like south by southeast just a little bit hey solar and uh, if i recall we have stuff for two teleporters though. um we are close to having enough material for two teleporters we in fact might actually have enough let me check oh yeah oh, all right we have more than enough for sure I I the uh i'm gonna go ahead and I take the bronze I think you uh, need to eyes, 20 fine wood and two cores, so we need... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the medium boat, because there's no way I'm taking a raft oh. over there. Yes, we, we definitely have enough for two. There it is. Okay. We definitely have so... enough for two teleporters, so we can build... How are we doing on deer hide? How much do... Because we need ten for that. Uh, four, so... Let me see, I need 80 nails. I th think I can do that. I can, with one bronze to spare. Uh, pro tip, you don't actually need to sail a boat once you've built a teleporter somewhere. You can just break your boat and then build it again. It's because you just need a regular workbench. So once we get over there, we'll never have to sail back. Um, did you grab the stuff for the teleporters, or should I do that? I don't know, I haven't touched any of it because I need to go out and get more gear hide. Perfect. I will go ahead and, and do that. So the goal today is to... I, I'm not going to say we're going to kill the boss, but we are going to get over to him and sort of set up a base of operations. Now the thing is, is that once you leave the starting island... I don't know if the game still does this, but this is how it used to work. Whatever the first black forest you find is will instantly spawn the merchant there. Um, and the Elder only spawns in the Black Forest, so, so logically he'll be, like, in here. So now I think how it is is that the trader has set locations that he can spawn. They are uh, all Black Forest. Right. Uh, but the first one that you find him at is the first one that he'll stay at for him. Okay. That works. I need six deer hide if you're able to provide. That, no, that's what I ran right now to and these should build the teleporters. And typically what I like to do is I'll build a teleporter, like, zone, you know? We'll find somewhere and all the teleporters will sort of branch off this one zone. That way the base isn't too cluttered with it. Excuse me, but for now, uh, I guess I'll just stick it in the in the bedroom. For now, that'll that'll work. Uh, maybe not. There's not enough room in here. I guess outside is fine. It's a little ratchet looking out here, but you know, we 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 make do. We survive. 
Well, I mean, I'm from Jersey, so I mean, that's like five star hotel material. God. For those of you who don't know, there's a place in Jersey called Newark. And if you ever drive through Newark, it's it's very stinky. And I'm not saying like stinky as like a term of endearment like I usually do. Nah, like it, it it's like actually legitimately smelly driving through Newark. I don't know why. They probably have like some big sewage plant there or something, but yeah, it's a piece it's of the worst course. part of New Jersey and uh, But it does it have the Shaquille comes... O'Neal Theater. Well, it, it's also where the international airport area is. Oh, let me, uh, let me, let me talk about the fucking boars, okay? So obviously I needed to do this stuff <laughs> off camera, get the base ready to go. That was so, my favorite message from all this. A very <laughs> panic message I sent in. Let me read Hugan's thing first. Uh, portals are great for fast travel between different parts of the world. Of course you need to build one on the other end as well, then give the pair a name. Uh, the same name and they will automatically be connected so we'll do for this one we'll do elder in all caps i like to do them in all caps um so yeah i was i was getting wood i was building up the house all is right with the world everything's normal all of a sudden i see a message that tells me that the forest is moving that means that the graylings are mad and they are invading so all of a sudden Eight billion fucking Graylings spawn here, and two of them are shamans. And they ignore me, while the other ones are beating me up. They ignore me and run straight to the fucking boar pen. Now the issue with shamans is that they have a poison attack that can go through walls. So they start killing all of the boars. And all of them die except for two, and they live with one health each. And if I recall, the two that lived were, uh, were Aura and, and Ironic. So all of the children... Are the spawn of ironic and aura so if you see either one of these two fucking any of those uh that's just straight up incest and ironic you should feel disgusted with yourself but i mean you you are a stud we were already back to five boars so it's, life's not that bad uh, i should probably kill one of them but nah it'll be fine it'll be fine yeah i was just minding my own business the one night and i just see tony just in a panic messaging me. <laughs> it was so scary dude it was legitimately terrifying as an experience. I should probably break this shitty house down, but it's so charming, I don't want to get rid of it yet. Alright, once once Meek is back with the uh with the deer hide we need. I'm at five out of six, right? Oh shit, I'm I'm short. I need another thirty fine wood. And then twenty resin. How's everybody doing today in terms of heat? Because it is fucking hot where I live right now. It is insanely warm. It is like the first hot day of the year, I would say. Um, my fa If you guys can hear it, uh, it's fan season. So the fan's going to be on. You can't tell me to turn it off. I don't care if, it, if it's loud. Because <laughs> if it's not on, I will literally melt. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been quite awful. It's cold here, Lamau. But it's always cold, mostly. I'm jealous. I legitimately prefer cold weather over hot weather because because cold weather is easy. You just you just put put on like a coat. There's only so many layers I can remove from myself. Do I have arrows? I don't. Oh, I do. You love your skin, Tony. I you know I would if I could. Fortunately, I'm stuck with this this mortal coil. Oh, here we go. I got a deer hide. If you're set, then uh, meet me over here at the shoreline, and we can make a make an expedition. Do you have enough fine wood for everything? Uh, I do. Let me make sure I have enough regular wood. I do. Okay. Nothing feels worse than trying to build anything, like, out in the open, and you just have zero wood to make the crafting bench. That shit sucks. I'm ready. I know there's a way to do emotes in this game, but I can never remember how to do it. Uh, how? I'm sorry, are you okay? I found one of, I found a two-star tamed boar all the way out here. It's, see where I am on the map? He's so far. How did he get so <laughs> far away? Is he, like, fully grown or a child? He is fully grown. <laughs> no fucking... He's so far away. He must have been from, from the original group. 
He has to have been from the original group that we, like, bred over here. Do you want me to put him in a little pen? And... No, we're just gonna skid him. <laughs> I'm just gonna- I'm coming over to skid him right now. Fuck that guy. He, he's living in his own home right now. I, I'm not fucking with you either. He's is, just- Is he really? Yes! Oh shit, no way. No fucking way! No! <laughs> I, I don't want to get rid of him. Now uh, yeah, I feel bad. Saying. He lives here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want to. I want to okay. just like. Um. No, 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 buddy, no, 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 no. This no, is your home. Push it back in. This push it back home. in. Don't, your... don't forget where your roots Got are. Got him. <laughs> okay. He he. Fuck. He can live here. He can live here now. I felt you know. I was fine just getting rid of him, but but nah. This is his home. <laughs> Let me let me fix it up. It's a little it's admittedly a little busted. Okay. Yeah, we can just I gotta come back and like build this up or something. Keep the trees inside. Hello here. Capra, hello Dingo. Capra and Dingo, hello gentlemen. Alright. We're gonna have to come back here and actually build with this room. Oh for sure. <laughs> uh I will take these and leave that for him. Um, he could just, he can just like, live here, I guess. I'll just, I'll rename him right quick. Um, I'll name him God for funsies and then we can leave. <laughs> Alright. Should have named him Odin. Should have named him what? Odin. Oh, fuck, no, I messed it up. Oh, or Loki. <laughs> I messed it up, hold on. Hold on. I'll name him Loki, that's way better. There we go. I gotta keep my Christian values out of here. Keep, keep it Viking themed. Oh man. God spelled backwards is Pog. That is true. That is true. We could have named him Pog, but we, we sadly we weren't that creative. <laughs> um, I've got a decent amount of food here. Cunny meat. I should probably roast that deer meat before we can. All right, that's five deer hide. That's a, a perfect amount for a boat. Let me just roast this real quick, and we'll uh, and then we'll head out. We'll go on a fantastical journey, I suppose. I swear to God, if we immediately get bodied by like a sea serpent or something, I'm gonna be mad. Or oh, if we're gonna, gonna have to. Oh, it's gonna be hilarious. I don't think we could kill one if we tried. No, we can't because I mean we don't have a way to. True. That's or, that's the biggest problem encountering that. Uh, stock up on honey a little bit. Let me repair my stuff, and then we can go. All right. Time for a fantastical journey. I have yet to build a dock, which I should probably do. Um, we're just gonna launch it from here and, and and be fine with that. I need a workbench just to fucking drop it here too. Um, let me just forget about that. The boat. Uh, that's the back of the boat. It's gonna take damage coming in. That's fine. Alright. And the wind is against us. We're paddling, baby. <laughs> Classic. I wouldn't have it any other way in our playthrough. <laughs> yup. I actually have to adjust slightly, and that puts us even more into the wind. Mmm. Love that. I mean, my go. concern is is where we're what the, the place that we're heading is just like this tiny walk away. It seems like uh, I mean it's far enough that I can justify building a boat. And and you yeah, are yeah, right, yeah. Solar. We could attack the we could attack the serpent with bows, but our bows are a bit too shitty, I think, to, to do that. Yeah, I think even with the even with the uh, eighty one arrows I have, I don't think I'd kill. Okay, so I don't know. Like we're gonna hit this land. It, and yeah, then... it's very questionable on whether or not that like this is one giant island that the others on. It would have to be a big island. Yeah. Um, that's the problem. How about... I, okay, well I hit a rock that was invisible. Very cool. I'm sorry, what is... Oh, it's a puffer fish. 
I, f I kind of forgot that, like, fish would just be at the surface. Oh, the wind is with us. Okay, I I'm gonna crash us into this island. Or would you rather I, like, take a... You know what? I'll take a detour. Why not? Yeah, I, I promise people will sail. We'll go around. I promise that we would get, do some sailing, so we're gonna fucking do it. Get two minutes of sailing, and then just stop. <laughs> not even. What's the plan for today? Uh, the plan for today is to establish an outpost over by the Elder. Um... And unfortunately, if we if we were to dock at this island, it's questionable that the elder. It, no, I think it's I think it's enough. I think there's enough land here to justify the elder living here. I feel like we're just like psyching ourselves out. We're we're landing. I'm not, I, I have no problem with continuing to sail if we want to just explore the coast. Nah, I feel like it's I feel like it's here. We're getting out. Um. So let me. Drop one of these bad boys, and then... Oh, that's right, it doesn't even matter. I have to physically break it. This is the, this is the pro strat. Okay. I'm also gonna eat some food before we do that. Ow! Hey! Leave me alone. I love that we're doing something that, that that guy was probably just gonna do on his own. And that's all of our materials back, so we're all set there. Watch the island be ten foot across and that's it. I swear to god. It better not be. So let's see here. There's a I'm just I'm just basically running straight south. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the move for sure. Just run past everything we encounter. I am picking up Thistle just because it's such a good resource to have. Oh, yes. Uh, so the merchant's got... Oh, also blueberries. Merchant's got to be here somewhere. No, it's just if we get into a certain range of him, he just plops down there, but uh, it will tell us on our map. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of zooming out, hoping that he'll just appear. Copper? Copper? Everyone's favorite thing to grind for. Hmm. Well, that's a shot. Is that a? No, it's just that's a rock. Here on the left. Oh, I was looking over this way. There's a crypt over that way. I mean, there's so, a bunch of shit here. So, fun fact: the Graylings are the only ones that can break their own spawners. Well, Is I mean, that true? We can break really? them. No, we can break them, yeah, but the, out of like all their all the uh, pools mm -hmm. of spawners, Graylings are the only ones that can actually break them. <laughs> Maybe the Great Orbs uh... will throw rocks and. <laughs> oh, there's so many fucking dudes here. Yeah, uh, this is a. <laughs> it's not a good place to live. I don't want to live here. Hold on, come back here for a second. I no, I'm not gonna come oh. back there. No, oh, it's just this is. Okay, all right. That's that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you could you could understand my apprehension at, at you know. I know. I'm just I, I'm trying to do something for us to get away from them, not stay with them. Run fast and eat ass. So how does the how does the spawner thing work? The spawner farm. I feel like oh, you should spawner. explain it to everybody here, just because. Essentially, uh, if you place building structures on the ground around the spawner, like the little floor that Tony did, the super thin floor, uh, just nothing can spawn on that. No enemies could ever spawn on that, so you've just neutralized the spawner by building like a 5x5 five five square of those things, which is only like 20 some wood. There's a spawner right next to where the boss spawns. I hate it here. Yeah, that one's gonna have to go. Yeah, no, uh, we're, we're taking but, that out. So, the spawner can only ever have three graylings at a time from it. Oh, that was thing. easy. Uh, however, essentially, after neutralizing it by building a floor, you just dig a pit, and then you place a bunch of, like, uh, fires and stuff, like braziers. Uh, because braziers will still damage stuff if they touch it. But... For whatever reason, the Greylings have an extreme difficulty hitting it. Hmm. Um, 
And then they just burn to death in the pit, which then the spawner goes, oh, I don't have three of them, spawn more. And then uh, obviously it just keeps piling up all the stuff. But items don't despawn if there's a crafting table within range of them. So if you just place the crafting table, you just have an infinite, like, free loot pile for a stone and wood. Stone, wood, and resin and such. Oh, there's a troll resin, right here as well. Resin, great orb eyes. Uh, I'm trying to think, like, where's the best place to put the teleporter, you know? So that yeah, I, I hear you. don't get my ass clapped. He is on the back half of his island, though. He could have just kept saying. Hmm. Um. I wish we could just build in that troll cave, but that's not happening. Uh, this pile of rocks seems pretty safe. Oh, uh, you saw the right. Oh, it's cool. I'm gonna go for this pile of rocks. That's fair. Let me see here. Uh, first of I'm all, just like... <laughs> let me flatten this shit out. You you're doing you're doing great. I appreciate it. I went to I won't spoil it, but I did I, I will let you guys know. I went to go see the Mario movie the other day. Um if you're old like me, don't go see the Mario movie. Uh that movie moves a mile a goddamn minute. There's not a single ounce of fat on that entire movie. And when I left, I left physically tired because so much shit is happening at all times. The, sc uh, the screen... And troll coming. Oh god, a troll? Oh no. Uh, oh, there's a shaman here too. Fuck. Um, if I can get him to whiff his thing. Like that. Yeah, the movie has not an ounce of fat on it. I don't think there's a single scene... In the Super Mario Brothers movie, in which two characters are just talking, and there's not 800 fucking things happening in the background or on screen at the same time. It is exhausting to watch that movie. I mean, it was a fun movie. I don't know if I'd say it was, like, a great movie. It was fun. I would say that the Sonic 2 movie is a better movie, but the Mario movie is definitely more fun. Also, it ha it is full of licensed music. That's not a spoiler because it's an Illumination movie. Of course there's licensed music everywhere. And it's all... I need to be very choice with my words here. The songs they chose are by themselves good songs. But fuck me, it would have just been better if they weren't in the movie. I'm trying to think. This was in the trailer. Rainbow Road is in the movie. They drive on it on the carts, you know that, it's in the trailer. They choose to put, I think it was, it was, it was holding out for a hero. They play that song while they're riding around on Rainbow Road instead of just using the Rainbow Road theme. Which is like a fucking bop and a half, why wouldn't they just do that, you know what I mean? Can't keep up with the Zoomer attention span. Tony would die watching Coco Melon. If you put Coco Melon on in front of me, I think I would actually disintegrate, like, into dust. It would be too much for my boomer brain to handle. The troll's name. Uh, what fucking song was it they put over Rainbow Road if it wasn't holding out for a hero? It was, it was something. But uh, boy howdy, it would have been just better. With not as much licensed music. Um, every single instance of licensed music in the movie... Um, would have just been better if it was just a remixed Mario track. Because all of the songs in the movie that were remixed Mario tracks were very lovely and fun, and I enjoyed them. It was used over the training montage. Oh, okay. Alright. Whatever fucking song they used in the Rainbow Road thing was bad then. My point still stands. It doesn't matter what the specific song was. The, the licensed music was out of place and unnecessary. Also, I'm gonna shoot the fuck out of this troll. Do you need my arrows? Are you out of arrows? No, I'm. I have arrows. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remove him from existence. Is this gonna reach? Ah, he hid behind that rock. Saved him. 
<laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't do that. Did that deer just eat that hit for him? No. He took the hit, thank god. God damn. Oh! Wow, that uh, that hurt my body quite a bit. I lived though, and I also need to deal with all these fucking dudes. There we go. I'm sorry we didn't get. I'm sad we didn't get the DK Country remix over the DK scene. The remix they did was uh, so good too. Uh... I would have loved if they played Jungle Japes. That would have been so good. I think it, I mean Jungle Japes is a is a classic, a certified hood classic, but like they didn't play that and that definitely made me big sad. They played like the first 2 seconds of it if I recall and that was when they got to the the gate of the Donkey Kong Kingdom. The Donkey Kong Kingdom was fun by the way. That was a that was a fun uh, series of of scenes. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I can survive a hit from you. I will hit you, though. Come here. I don't... Oh! He's so low. Come here. Come here! I got you. Dropped an ancient seed. Oh, I picked up the gold by mistake. No, I'm just gonna get. I, I don't think we found the coins. Okay. Oh, I actually can't carry that. Because I'm carrying the stuff for the boat. At least the songs are on the OST. Oh, okay. Do they have the Subway Surfer footage on the side in case you got bored? Uh. They had some Family Guy clips playing under the movie. So I was pretty entertained during the whole thing, <laughs> luckily. <laughs> um. Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm not the only one who was a little bit sad that there wasn't more DK music, though. Let me see. So what's the... What, I would say the move is maybe go back home. Make and fire arrows? Get fire arrows, yeah, for sure. Maybe a better bow and then come back. Do we have access to a better bow yet? Uh, we have fine wood. I'm pretty sure we can make a fine wood bow now. And maybe, maybe take a crack at that boss. The boss is... It isn't terrible, but I mean, it, it's the... You were stuck. Let's see... Fine wood bow... Fire arrows... Yeah, we have what we need to make that. We can make a bunch of those. Yeah, fine wood bow. I just need the core wood. Which is from the black wood, so I don't Hmm... I don't have enough core wood to do anything, actually. Excuse me. Um, but what I can do... What I can do... Is do something about those fire arrows. I can definitely make us a bunch of that for sure. So, let me go ahead and handle that. Take... Oh, I don't think I've ever picked up core wood. I think that's why... You mean fine wood? You definitely picked up core wood before. No, nope, never picked up core wood. That's crazy. I just warned you were the person who farmed all of that. No, I farmed the fine wood for us. Ah, okay. That was definitely me then while I was crafting. This is totally me when I'm crafting. Alright, well I guess I gotta go get more deer as well. Out of curiosity, did you block your ears every time Chris Pratt spoke? No, he was actually pretty good. He was He was fine. He did a fine job. Um, I was genuinely impressed with the effort that he put in. Um, that that trailer they showed. Holy shit! Uh, first of all, the worst, the worst part of the trailer for the Super Mario Brothers movie is when Chris Pratt is looking around as Mario and he goes, "What is this place? It's really bad. It's a terrible scene, and I hated it." And that scene was not in the movie, actually. So that was pretty cool. 
Um, Chris, sure Chris Pratt did a good job. Sure they saw all the feedback from that, and they were ever, they were like, cut it, cut it. I mean, I wouldn't blame them. Straight up, like, it, it was an unnecessary part of the scene. You know, it didn't need to be there, and the scene was better for it. So, whatever, whatever big corporate suit decided to take that out, uh, good job. You actually did something good for once. Um, let me see. How am, I, how am I doing so far here? I'm just trying to figure out what I can afford to put back. Uh, I need wood. That's my main problem as of now. I'm trying to get the deer hide for the moment as well. Just do this. Um... I hope the next movie they do will slow down a little and they can do an actual story. That'd be cool. Yeah, there was no story or, like, plot in the movie. It was just Mario gets to the kingdom and then he fights Bowser. Which is fine. That's what it's supposed to be. But, you know, it'd be cool if they could actually do a story. Mario is a... Is a you know, the, the world is interesting and you can do a lot with it. Clearly, the Thousand Year Door is proof of that, but... You know what? Put this back here. Make more room. Learn where everything is in my own goddamn house. Um, let me see. In terms of voice performances, Charlie Day's Luigi was, uh, quite frankly, fantastic. He did a great job. Luigi was stellar. Oh! Uh, cover yours if you don't want to be spoiled, but I will spoil, uh, I'll do this really quick. I'll do this in, like, less than two minutes. Worst scene of the movie is before they get to the Mushroom Kingdom, the two of them are working in Brooklyn, being plumbers, and they go to a house to fix a leaky faucet, and while they're there, there is this horribly cartoony, d disgusting, terrible, Looney Tunes-esque scene where a dog attempts to kill Luigi, and it is so out of place and so terrible it feels like a leftover scene from The Secret Life of Pets 2, and I hated it. It was bad. The movie would have been better if that scene wasn't in it. Uh, we have 400 fire arrows. And okay. I, am, I am producing more. <laughs> this is good. Um... I'm sure someone is gonna argue with me that that scene was incredibly pivotal to the film. And that I'm just some sort of dumb idiot who didn't get it. It was actually super funny, lol. Uh, no, it was bad. It was a bad scene. I did not like that scene. Mm. I think having more Luigi scenes would have been great. He was criminally underused. Oh, for sure. For sure. How much sex did Bowser have? Uh, he had a lot. There was a great scene in the movie where uh, he was lit with bisexual lighting, and I thought that was cool. Bisexual lighting, for those of you who don't know, is like this kind of purpley blue lighting that's used on bisexual characters in media. And uh, they lit Bowser with that lighting, and that was pretty cool. That was on purpose, but I like to pretend that maybe it was. Let's see here. Pause this. I'll take this one out. And we'll go ahead and do this. We're gonna get so much resin, so it's good to, like, spread it out. And let's see the grand total of fire arrows we're working with. We got one, two, three, four, five, six hundred arrows. And I still could make more if I just had more, uh, wood. So we have plenty of feathers left over. Um. That's a miracle that we have feathers from some of the fire. Wait until the video essay claiming that that scene is perfection. Certified illumination moment. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was- so basically, the worst parts of the movie are everything that Illumination brought to the project. And everything that was good in the movie was everything Nintendo brought to the project. So, things like the scene I just described, the absolutely egregious use of, uh, licensed music, um, just- just everything that Illumination is known for was the bad part of the movie. But it, but it was fun. It was fun. It was it was a good time. Uh, did I enjoy it more than the D&D &D movie, which I just saw like a week before seeing it? The D&D &D movie was a better movie, but this one was more fun. It's hard, it, you know, 
it's a fun movie. It's hard to just not say it's not fun. It was super fun. That's enjoyable. Uh, I think Kamek had the best voice actor in the entire movie. I loved him so much. Actually voiced by a professional voice actor, though, so a little unfair. Oh, yeah, he was great. He was in, like, negative two scenes, but he was great, for sure. Um, oh, the worst voice in the movie? Whenever uh, Meek gets back, we'll fight this boss. But the worst scene in the movie... The core wood for the boss, I don't. I thought you were getting core wood. I was getting the deer, and I'm... No, I'm right next oh. to the back of so I was just... Oh, I'll I was go, just asking I'll go so that, that I can chop down this bird. Still. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go get core wood then. That's uh, that's on me. I misunderstood what the objective was. Uh, <laughs> Some great orb came up to try to throw a rock at me. He just got annihilated by the tree. I love watching the great orbs die at the trees. It's honestly amusing. I'm just I'm just dropping off like all this shit here. Um, worst voice acting in the whole movie. It's not even fucking close. It's Peach. Peach's voice actress? Um, no offense to her. Holy fuck, every single line of dialogue she delivered was just, just bad. Just bad. It was, it was, like, very clearly they brought an actress who I don't think has done any voice acting into the booth. And they were like, here, read the lines. And they just gave her no direction at all. <laughs> It was real bad. It was not enjoyable. Um, I watched the D&D movie and it was fun. It was, it was fun. It was a good movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and one thing I liked about the D&D movie is that it actually had moments where they let characters breathe. It, it moved really quick, too, just like the Mario movie. But, but there were actually scenes where characters like sat down um, and talked, which was cool. Um, sorry, there's... is that crazy? Isn't Birdwood supposed to give us core wood? Uh, no, I think only the pines do. Like Chris Pine, how he gives me wood. You have to, you have to go for the pine trees. It's Peach. I thought it was Cranky. I never got used to Cranky's voice. Okay, so Cranky's voice was out of place, but I don't think it was bad. I thought it was a little out of left field. But I liked it. I thought he. I thought he did a good job. I thought he was fun. He definitely wasn't the, the the kind of voice I was expecting for sure. But like, an old Jewish grandpa. Come on, that was fun. That was good. Also, other worst scene in the movie, and I will spoil this scene. Uh, every fucking time they made Donkey Kong do the Seth Rogen laugh, I wanted to kill myself in the theater. It reminded me that I was listening to Seth Rogen, and I don't like Seth Rogen. Terrible. Awful. Egregious even. All right, let's get some fucking core wood. Yeah, I'm just getting attacked. I have, like, one, <laughs> one star for you. Like, I just don't want it. I bet, I bet all of you think I'm joking, but there is literally a... You know how I said that there's no points in the movie where they take a break and let characters talk? There is one moment where they just... Nothing is happening on screen, and then they have Donkey Kong come in on his car, and he goes... Uh, and then he drives away. He just does the Seth Rogen laugh and leaves. That's the whole fucking scene. And I didn't like it very much. I hated it, actually. But the D&D &D movie had good scenes of just people talking. There's a really nice scene where the barbarian is talking to her ex-husband. Uh, and that's a very nice and, and, and fun scene. Very good. They're just in his home... And he's like, how are you doing? And she's like, I came back to win you back. And he's like, that's not going to happen. I'm, I'm already, like, dating someone else. You got arrested. I moved on. And she's like, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, here she comes now. And she's also a barbarian, and that's pretty funny. Like, very clearly, she has a fetish for halflings, and this halfling has a fetish for, like, giant barbarian woman. And that's enjoyable. That's a good scene. I just got attacked by a one-star Grayling. Is that? Did you have a barbarian or just a Grayling? No, I had a one-star group. Or, or a dwarf. Sorry. Yeah, there's just a bunch of one-stars around here. Yeah, I had two. Oh there. fuck! No, here he is. He walked over to me. Ah, uh, yeah, I dipped because I couldn't <laughs> go down the pine tree. <laughs> Maybe we should like work together and, and kill him or something. I don't know, my inventory was full, so I couldn't. 
Actually. Ow! Another fucking one-star Grey Dwarf. Where are these one-stars coming from? Are they breeding? I not a clue. There is a spawners. There, I mean, there, there's how many spawners? That's true. There's a lot of spawners in this wood. How many, um... Oh god, there's a shaman here, too. They, okay. Whatever the closest spawner is... Needs to go. <laughs> needs to go. This is, this is... Yeah, it's like literally right here. Fuck that. Mm-mm. Let's see. Real shame he wasn't even bad as Donkey Kong. He just fucked up that they made him do that. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't terrible, but I, I really I really do not like Seth Rogen. Uh, can't stand him in, like, anything I've seen. But his performance as Donkey Kong, pretty good. Pretty decent, alright? Just because I don't like an actor doesn't mean I can... You know, I can't admit that they did a, a, good, a good performance. Um, love the barbarian. She was a little quippy, but eh. Yeah, she was she was fine. She was quippy, yeah. But like, she wasn't as quippy as the other characters. She had a lot less to say than the other characters, which is good. That was like what her character was going for. Um, Chocolate stuff. But she was great. You know, like she was different from the other characters. Not every character was just some like quippy fucking Joss Joss Whedon esque character. You know. There was, like, depth to these characters, which was good. Like, the, the, the main guy, Chris Pines, fucking hates Theans, which is a, a race of people in D&D. He fucking hates them, so when they have to interact with one later, uh, and he's, like, the only good Thean alive, he still refuses to believe it, which I think is enjoyable. He has to, like, get over his, his prejudice of Theans. That's depth, you know? He's not hes not perfect. And they shouldn't be perfect. They're like a band of fucking thieves. They all suck. The mage is bad. He can't do magic good. The elf had two scenes, so she doesn't have any character traits. She was she was the most underutilized part of the, of the movie. Um, but that's, that's both true and not true. I think it's more because they fear putting an elf on the screen for too long. Because and there's a yourself. particular set of people on the internet. Well... So, the thing is that she's a shape-shifting elf, and they use her a lot. They actually use her a lot because she does a lot of shape-shifting. She turns into tons of different things, too, and it's super fun. All the camera angles they use of her, like, being a rat or, like, a, a, a fly flying through the cracks of buildings, it's all really well done. But because there's so many scenes of her transformed, that means that there's less scenes of her physically talking as an elf. So they just don't really have her doing all that much um, when she's not transformed. Good movie, though. I liked it a lot. Not gonna go to another movie until the Barbie movie. I don't even know if anything else good is coming out between now and then. Dingo! Keep your keep your ears to the ground, my guy. Fucking Renfield came out. It's a vampire movie where Nick Cage is Dracula, dude. How is that not good? I'm gonna go see it uh, tomorrow, actually, so I'll tell you if it's good or not. <laughs> I hope that he's good in it. Um, it's a movie about um, a guy who plays the... He's the assistant to Dracula, and Dracula is played by uh, Nick Cage. I Yeah, it's out. I'm gonna go see it. I hope it's good. Oh, I need ten fine wood and some deer hide. Here, take this core wood. You could just make two bows. I, I, yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. When our DK will be in Norwegian, I'll try to watch the Norway dub so I can report back if they made some poor guy do the laugh. God, I hope not. If I had an elf in my film, I would also find any excuse to not have them talk. Uh, I would just... You know, my favorite character was Forge in the movie because he was genociding the elves, so I really feel like I, I kinned a lot with him, you know? If we get more core wood, I can upgrade them more. Um... Yeah, why not? That's probably a good idea. There's also some arrows here for you. Let me go ahead and uh, chop some wood down. Nick Cage and some guy have a toxic relationship, and Nick Cage is a vampire. <laughs> it's uh, it's hopefully gonna be good. It's funny because last year I was talking with my wife. Um, like, throughout the year, we were just like, God, there's no good movies out. And now this year, the Mario movie... I mean, the only good movie that I went to go see last year, the only thing I gave a shit about, 
was the was the Sonic movie. And honestly, can you blame me? It's the Sonic movie. But like this year, there's the Mario movie, there's Renfield, there's the Barbie movie. I'm sure there's other things coming out, but like three movies in a year? That's 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 more than one. Good shit. I have a serious question uh, for you, Meek. What's up? Have you ever role played before? I played Dungeons. Oh, did you? Yeah, in uh, college. I uh, I wasn't sure if you if you've ever role played before. Yeah, uh, literally. So I I moved into I moved from Barbit to uh, a different place because the living conditions of the apartment were fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, they built it where, like, water used to pile up all the time, so it was very humid and hot, no matter what the fuck. Sounds uh, horrendous. Yeah. And then my buddies told me that they had a, and, like, they had a friend across the hall whose roommate just didn't show up. So I, I went through process, got transferred in, and the dude that I moved in with ended up being our dungeon master. Oh. So how many people so, were like in your pod? Uh so well so it's it was pairs of two, but we had uh we had uh, three groups of guys that lived very close to each other. I ran out of durability on my axe, so I moved all these trees too. Um, there's some core wood in the chest so you can no. do some upgrading. But so we ended up playing on a weekly basis and stuff, and literally the first time I ever played D&D was with him, mm -hmm. and uh, I made a Dragon Lord character. Who the fuck's throwing rocks at our bees? I feel like every man who doesn't know what to do for his first campaign just makes a Dragonborn character. Well, so I had a plan in mind. I, I was going after an old folklore thing. Uh, where a koi fish climbs a waterfall and becomes a dragon. Uh, so you're so, just a fish wearing I, yeah, the suit of a dragon. To, I used to be a fish that got cursed by a demon and basically became a dragon. So that demon dude, fucked up turning a fish into a into a dragon. That seems like a straight upgrade. What kind of curse is that? Well, so no, I overcame the curse. That's like he cursed oh, okay. the koi fish pond. I. It, uh, because that's part of the folklore is that basically a demon curses these koi fish because they jump up the waterfall and so the waterfall just continuously grows upwards interesting uh, you put a lot of thought into this clearly oh that, that it's basically all based off the myth so my dude just hates demons but he was a fish and so alcohol any amount of alcohol kills fish so he his thing was is anytime I went to a bar I got sure the temple but uh, I made I made the DM laugh, just burst out laughing because I met up with the party at like a really critical moment, helped them through a fight and stuff. Uh, I was doing Matt Mercer's Blood Hunter. I don't know what that is. Essentially, uh, in combat, you can sacrifice your max HP, mm -hmm. right? Because if you just sacrifice just normal HP, people could heal it. You sacrifice max HP in order to, like, enchant your weapons for the fight. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, and so I was doing this, so I was cutting my max HP. Uh, but so, he laughed because literally the first encounter with them, I just helped them, they, they just walk into a bar, the entire town's under siege, everybody's panicking, and I am just like, I'm I'm just there and I'm just like I need my shirt to jump. And the bartender's like, Are you fucking serious? And the other two guys are just like, What the fuck is happening? That this dude is just here. <laughs> Fan no, favorite and all around handsome guy Stefan uh plays a bartender in his current D D campaign. Um, I I ended up trying to do that as well, but that, that campaign got cut short because uh one of the proud children. Just wanted to be your elbow and everything is a rogue. That's a bummer. It's a shame that people can ruin roleplay sessions so easily, you know? It's really one of those activities where everybody has to, like, 
be on their best behavior, it fucks it up for everyone. That's fine, though. Uh, but ultimately, uh, basically, after helping the party fight this big monster and stuff, uh, that was in the city. Oh God, what are they and, doing? And running. They're fighting the bees again. Get out of here. Um, after helping them with that, uh, we went back and they were talking to the queen. And so literally I was just like, she, I was like, the dude, Koi, Koi, right, is just kind of what I went by. Mm -hmm. uh, literally just drops to one knee. It was just, you are such a beautiful, like, she was like, over one reward for everybody. And basically I base I did the D&D &D equivalent of, can I get your phone number? Uh, <laughs> can I get your rune stone coordinates, <laughs> please? Stone. I got a I got a sending stone that was linked to her sending stone. Tim Magikarp moment. <laughs> and so, pretty much the only reason why he allowed this is because he was about to give the fucking D and D party like an extended time off to go do some stuff and work on things, uh, and he fucking had the queen get kidnapped in that time. That's fucking funny. Where's my bow, by the way? Did you upgrade it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get rid of extra stuff in my inventory right now. My bow. Bow slave. People are talking about the FNAF movie in my fucking... Is that real? Yeah, it's actually happening. You didn't... Is it really? I feel like maybe we talked about this and I just blocked it out. The FNAF movie is actually happening. I can't remember who all the cast. You ready to fight some fucking big tree guy? Do you have food? Do you need food? Uh, no, I should I should be fine. Okay, because I have tons of meat on me. I think that I ran out of it. So. Let's see, I'll put that in there too. Get that shit out of here. Here, I'm gonna cook up this deer meat. Cook a, cook a few here. It's been five years in the making of this point. FNAF movie reel, we have cast and some photos even. Oh, wow. I, I think the problem for the FNAF movie specifically was is that like it got announced and then it just got cancelled again and went back and forth and like, then writing stuff. There's a shaman coming at us. I'll let you handle them while I cook. I have one important question about the FNAF movie. Will Purple Guy be sexy in it? I don't want to watch the movie if he's not going to be sexy, though. It's kind of important. They finished filming just the other week. Coming to theaters this October, Matthew fucking Lillard will be killing kids on the silver screen this Halloween. Alright. If it was Matthew Lillard? I, I mean, I'll watch it. Why not? Isn't he shaggy? He is shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shaggy's going to fucking kill kids. Shaggy, saggy switch sides, bro. Matthew Lillard is a is a national treasure, dude. Who doesn't <laughs> love who doesn't love a good shagster? <laughs> it takes place in FNAF One, the best FNAF. Is it the best FNAF? I mean, it's the simplest. It is. It is the, the simplest FNAF. Uh, I thought FNAF, FNAF World was the best FNAF. Everyone really liked that one, right? FNAF World is funny as fuck. Don't get me wrong. Everyone loves that one. That's the one that's still on Steam and easily available. Super good. That's the shitty one I remember. In the Recently, game. some dude actually managed to do a Nuzlocke version of it. I am astounded that everyone can figure out how to do a Nuzlocke version of, of any game, actually. I'm sure there's a Nuzlocke Catherine run out there somewhere. Uh, here, here's some, some deer meat for fun. Here, let's go to bed and then we'll fight him in the morning. Oh, that's your bed. Why are there two beds? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I was waiting for you to get back. Which broke my bed. Both of these are your bed. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you get no bed. I get two beds. Fuck you. There you go. Are Just... we going to be able to interlock our toes or are they have. Wow, oh god. When it said there are enemies nearby, I was like, ooh, yeah, man. There's quite a few. There has yeah, to be another spawner, there's no way. 
Well, it's nighttime. Yeah. Spawn rates are triple. True. Seems. Oh, that's fine. I'll just fix it real quick. Bro, he's booking it for the bees. Oh my god, he's gonna get himself killed. Oh, he's a one star. Get out of here. You have no right to. Ah, oh, your friend is here. I fuck you. Get out of here. Pick a fight with you. One star is. He's gonna be so fucking sexy. They got Shaggy, that one guy from Scream 1. I love Scream. Oh, there's another one. They're straight up. They're replicating. I don't know. I'm in bed. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, we're gonna be able to interlock toes. Yeah, dude. Touch feeties. <laughs> well, at the very least, be a good time knowing Matthew Lillard will be a freak on screen. Also, they got the Jim Henson company to work in the animatronics. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I mean, all of that sounds great. It sounds like, legitimately, it could be a very good film. And that's cool. Yeah, I'll go recently, see it. though, uh, I, I have seen some stuff about the map where people are making, like, the analog horror videos and stuff. Analog horror is so cool. Uh, and they, they've been doing some really cool and interesting videos. Basically, like, where people were, like, trying to, like, scrap the animatronics and stuff and, like, looking if they're still usable parts. Mm hmm Stuff like that. And, like, I was honestly thoroughly impressed. I've really wanted to get into, like, a new horror series on, on YouTube or, or something on the internet. I, I remember, uh, uh what, are, what are they called? Skinwalkers, I think, was, like, the, the, the big thing that's been happening the past few months. Um... It's that one thing where it's like, if you see another person that looks like you, don't, don't inter, don't look at them or whatever, you know. That I shit's mean, spooky. The doppelganger I'll spawn shit. It over there. Oh god, I don't want to be where he's spawning. We had an easy time with the first boss. Let's see if we can go two for two. Stand up, stand up, bitch. And summoning here. tentacles. Like, Did a troll come? It's just the summoning the roots always oh, shit. freaks me out because you never know if you're gonna get one that just like them really fucking kills you or not. I should have brought berries instead for the stamina, but more health is never a bad thing. He's having a rough time. I mean, we're keeping our distance. Uh, that, the thing is, is like if you're close enough that you get hit by like any part of that shotgun blast, yeah, then it's problematic. Then but you're just gonna you're, fucking die. <laughs> yeah. But as long as you're like actually maintaining like, proper angles and stuff, where it's a plain spot for him to try to hit you with any of them. I mean, he definitely can't hit me. I'm I'm pretty far. It's mostly the vines I was worried about because they were starting to get around me. I'm using a rock for coming. Yeah. But I'm trying to I try to line him up with some things. Pretty sure he can break rocks, or is it just yeah, trees? He can. he can. It just takes him like five or six hits compared to one shotty trees. Yeah, he's having a rough time hitting me over here. Poor guy. Bullying this elderly man. This is just zoomers beating up at an old guy at the fucking park. No, oh, he dodged me. He's not that old. Ooh. Staff of the movie is kind of insane. They got some cool composers and shit too, but I don't remember them at the top of my head. And like the assistant director worked on some big name movies too. FNAF VHS tapes are super cool. All the best FNAF content is stuff that's not official. Those ones are sounds fun. I mean, so recently there's a fan game called the Juniors as well. And instead of just like the uh, instead that. of just like the that. defend yourself from doors thing, you have to figure out which animatronic is haunted. Ooh, so it's a mystery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's much more of like investigation. Like... This is like the easiest time I've ever had fighting this guy. He hasn't done any like weird janky bullshit. He's just been ass. I always feel like his shotgun blast is always just weird janky bullshit. No, Sometimes it'll just like hit you and very clearly it shouldn't have. Or he'll just like really want to walk at you, but no, he's kind of just been far. 
I didn't spam it from a distance. I'm much more okay with that. Oh, he got staggered. I've never actually like noticed that he can be staggered before. I got hit by one, and then get some dust about twenty-five. Yeah, I guess I'll hide over here for now. Is our teleporter shit still here? I think it is. I mean, even if he breaks it. I think FNAF got too complicated after FNAF 3, not enough child murder, too much family drama. Yeah, also, like, how many fucking times can can they bring Purple Guy back? Just let the man die, for fuck's sake, get us a new villain. Well, that was easy. You barely put up a fight. Kinda disappointing, honestly. But we're progressing. So now we have the Swamp Key, so now we can go- Oh, oh did you get your own? Uh... I got a swamp key and I got an elder head. Oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. So we each got our own key. Oh, good. I think before it used to be that, like, two keys would drop and then you just have to disperse them. But. You throw me the head just so I... Oh, yeah. Here. Let me take the head. I put the head on the thing last time so you can put this one up. It's only fair. Watch that log. Um, yeah, our teleporter's just fine. Didn't take a single hit of damage, I don't think. Yep. Alright, let's go back. Security Breach had the chance to introduce Vanessa as the new villain, but they decided to go back to Afton for no reason. Oh my god, yeah. No, Security Breach was such a fucking disappointment. Here, hold on, let me buff us so we can run back. Alright, time to uh, run back and... want to bring stuff to build a teleporter, it's fine. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> I was just gonna do that just, off camera, but like... I, I mean, if we're gonna run, if we're run all the way back. Okay, let me... have to build two still, you can just plop one. We can build one. I don't have enough fine wood to build two. And I'll just read these. So uh, just teleport back. Throw me stuff. No, no, no. Okay. I'm saying that we just build one at spawn, because I just renamed this one. Oh. Spawn. Ew, gross. It's in all lowercase? No. It wasn't all lowercase. Except for the first one? Disgusting. Okay. Um, so you carry the wood, I will get the gray dwarf eyes, and the two certs. I got the eyes, and I got the two certs. I'm carrying too much. Alright, I'm coming. Let's get you moving. She attended but she had Afton sent. The only thing Vanessa contributed was port of her. I mean, yeah, extremely accurate. She's like a four. <laughs> uh, I mean, Vanny could have been something, you know? She could have been interesting. She could have been, like, literally a million things, and instead she was just barely in the game and contributed nothing and then Afton was there again even though what's the point of that huge dramatic fucking scene in uh that one FNAF game right where there's the voiceover and it's like I'm breaking this one yeah that's a good idea just like for all of those trapped in those machines oh, brah 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 yeah, you, you can speech, I think is his name. yeah you could go to heaven and for give up one of you spirits. Yeah, yeah give up your give spirits give up your spirits uh but for one of you, there's a special place in hell waiting. Mm -hmm. So don't keep the devil waiting. What, what was the fucking point of that? If they were just going to bring him back in the next game and it wasn't even going to be explained or nothing. Hold on. What is this? Well, no, it, it is explained. Uh, Not well. And it's really shittily explained because they made that game where it was uh, like... Uh, I shouldn't say explain. I should say oh, justified. The, That's a better word. Oh, no, it's ultimate custom type. Where he made, like, the slosh of, like, 50 fucking characters that you have to survive against at, at like, the highest difficulty. And it's literally just fucking insane. It's insanity trying to 
It's not, it's not um, good enough. Just make a new villain. It's not that fucking well, hard. Well, so the fucking bullshit thing in that is that that, that fucking like just scrap together of a game has little secret things where you find out like that like one of the kids in the because apparently there's multiple kids that possess the golden Freddy one. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them really fucking hates him and is keeping him alive to torture him. Kids, kids like, are fucked up. That's like genuinely what it's supposed to be. And that's the reason why he physically can't die. Is that's because stupid that one and dumb. Spirit, yeah, that one spirit is just like, fuck you, Spike. <laughs> The only good chica is FNAF 1 chica. I hate how all the other chicas are all are all like skinny women. Solar's just over here absolutely upset that he finds various forms of chica attractive and he doesn't... He, <laughs> he's giving off that same vibe of that one fucking meme where the kid goes, Stop sending me pictures of buff black men! It's turning me on! That's Solar right now. Upset, absolutely upset. Oh, hey, let me... uh. I forget, what does the power do for the tree? It just makes you chop down trees like twice as good. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> Give me the deer back. The deer is a better power. <laughs> I hope William Afton dies at the end of the FNAF movie and there are after credit scenes of him just in the Family Guy death pose Tony, and nothing else. Tony, why are you running? We brought stuff to build the top. Oh, that's right. We did We yeah, did do that. Alright, I need to figure out where the the best place for this is going to be. This is how far you have to be. It's like 20 feet or so. Uh... This is good. This is fine. I mean, this is a very open spot, which is something that we did not have. The luxury. Oh, I, I fucked up. Spoeen! I should probably build one of these at some point. Let's go back home. Ah, you're fat and dumpy. You almost pushed me back here. <laughs> I'm too thick. I'm eating too much berries and honey. Man, I only used like 38 arrows to fight that big fucking guy. I'm just 40. It's nothing. Alright, so now now we're going to use all of our resources. For and stuff to build. That's right. To build what? Fermenters, right? I mean, we can build some fermenters, but we need iron, don't we? No, it's it's only bronze, fine wood, and rest. Oh shit, really? I thought you needed iron, for sure, why don't we? We don't have any bronze, though, that's kind of the problem. Five bronze per fermenter, don't we? Uh, we can... Uh, we need copper. Copper. That's gonna have to be a thing we do off-stream. Well, here here's what we need to do. We need to, uh figure out where the nearest swamp is. So I'm willing yeah, to take a bit of a sailing trip. Oh well, yeah, I was about to say, do we do we need more fine wood for another teleporter right now? Is uh that... we do, yeah. Well let's get some fine wood. Okay. You asshole! What is he doing? He was fucking with the bees again. <laughs> Why do they hate the bees so much? <laughs> What's wrong with them? Maybe it's the tower. Maybe they, I mean, I put a fucking spawn in there. That that the thingy to stop it. Tony was too caught up in the euphoria of Matthew Lillard, purple guy, family guy, death pose to remember his purpose. I've forgotten what we were here for. For copper. It's the only. That troll cave down there. Ah, oh, yeah, we were. We already went in there. Nothing to worry about. The time. You know, the funniest thing about Matthew Lillard being purple guy is that Lila is the Norwegian word for purple. What a funny... <sighs> Norway is weird. I think everything in the world probably just it's like, revolves around Norway in some way. Certainly, I know my world revolves around Norway for Dingo. Is that how you... Yeah, I did it correctly. It just looks a little fucked up. Hey! Get out of here. Get out of here. He just spawned his fucking... I straight up murked that one and his big brother came up to beat me up after. At least I've got a bunch of... Oh shit, I'm stupid. This is core wood. I need fine wood. I, I, I got the seven fine. 
Alright, we should probably get more. I'll just take the teleporter back to spawn, because they always put a bunch of oak trees near spawn. Oak trees. Oak trees. Oak trees is like the easiest way to get fine wood. There's always tons of it. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, we should, really should try. Oh man, what a what a what a good refreshing, normal farming stream this is. Let's see, we've got. Actually, kill the tree boss, and we're just like, yep. That was, hard. I mean, not straight up. I didn't get hit a single time. Did you get hit at all? I got hit twice. Cringe. <laughs> Cringe. Embarrassing, even. I didn't get hit a single time. You got you got hit twice. Yeah, but it was a win trick. I shot him in the face for it. <laughs> you call that a win trade? I call that L. I call that L trades right there. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> the other the other night, I was just sitting on the couch, and my pug was, was sitting with me, and she just started heavily breathing because she's a pug. And she was doing it for like a solid minute, minute and a half, and I just looked at her and I was like, stop L breathing. <laughs> My wife heard me. She's like, don't say that to the dog. And I was like, why not? She's L breathing right now. She has L stats on her breathing. 2.5 damage from the tree. What a loser. There we go. But back to the back to the grand thesis of the stream, which is just movies. Straight up, pretty happy that good movies are coming out. It's good shit. Pretty good video games are coming out, too. I saw that uh, there's a game on the front page of Steam right now called War Tales. That shit looked pretty good. And I'll play that in my spare time if I can, if I can swing it. Be new, baby. You should run to the swamp right fucking now. I, I mean, we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna get some teleporter shit, and then we're gonna find the nearest swamp and we're gonna set up shop. The problem is, is that we're gonna need to bring quite a bit of wood. I, st I stunned a grayling and then made an oak tree fall directly on his head. Uh, cool. I have 37 line wood, Helen. Uh, I got 42 on me, so I could make two teleporters. And then plus what we have in the chest bag. I think I'm no, carrying what we had in the chest, actually. Have I gotten the Resident Evil 4 remake? I haven't. I don't know why, but like... I just haven't been motivated to, to play it. Um, and I feel like that's probably because I know that if I was going to play something Resident Evil, I'd rather do the DLC for Village. I really fucking like Village. It's really good. So I just haven't really gotten around to it. <laughs> I feel like you're saying that feel like it's what? You're very quiet. It's hard to hear you. Sorry, I said I feel like that's because of a certain tall individual. That you... Oh, Demi Trask now. Nah, she's lame. <laughs> she's not even that interesting. Oh, you like Heisenberg. I'm more of a Heisenberg man, you know? His wacky, super strange voice is, is very fun. He sounds... <laughs> he straight up just sounds like a coked out Nick Cage. I don't know why. I don't know why they decided to have that be the voice direction for Heisenberg, but I'm all there for it. Currently making my way through Doom Eternal. That's another one. I don't have any motivation to play Doom. I really want to. Doom is a lot of fun. It's great. It's fun. I just... I Like, I'm playing Destiny 2 with, with my buddies, so if I wanted to play a shooter, I'd just play Destiny 2. I'll have you know, I have the wanted title, and the cowboy outfit, and the cowboy vehicle, and the cowboy UI emblem. Because cowboys are cool. I need to get the title. You do need to get the title. Honestly, it's fucking embarrassing when I like play with you and you don't have the cowboy title. It's it's cringe. This man, this man won't even rename himself for the best trio name ever. Listen, I would re I would rename myself to Rootin or Tootin or Shootin if I could rename myself more than once, but but fucking Bungie is stingy and they won't let me do it. Where are the Grey Dwarf eyes? Do we have any available? Did you use them all? Did I just they're they're in this chest. Oh, okay. 
left. I just didn't see them. 42 in there. <laughs> okay, I have enough to make some teleporters. I'm just gonna get lazy. There we go. You wanna make sure that we wanna make sure that we bring uh, wood with us because we're gonna have to build a structure in the swamp. The swamp sucks mainly because it's always raining, which is for everybody. It's true. Just a heads up. It's always raining. There's nothing you can do. The swamp is mad stinky. Uh, and rain really deteriorates the uh, health of a building. So, like, it's very important to actually get a building up. I need um, enough stuff to build a boat. Um, so I'm gonna need like 10 fine wood and then a bunch of deer hide. Where's the stuff from the previous one? We used that stuff. I Well, the nails are good. But we used that stuff on. I think we used the deer hide. For the bows? For the bows, yeah, that's, that's what ah. happened. Um, <laughs> okay. That's fine, that's fine. Um, How much deer hide do you have on you? How much deer hide do I have on me? Is that what you asked? Zero. We need ten. <laughs> we, we need a solid ten. <laughs> we fucked up. Yeah, we fucked ourselves a little bit. Um, let me check if we even have a single piece. Yeah, we don't. We don't have a single piece of deer hide that I'm seeing here. Extremely embarrassing. Oh yeah, these new bows are gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Uh, I'll just go to, through the spawn portal, and then look around there, because it's a big open field. They don't spawn in big open fields, though. Why do you need more than one name change? Because, d d Kami, you, you don't, don't get out of here. <laughs> you get out of here, You because uh, if I want to change my name from not Rootin' or Tootin', then I need to have another name change available. This fucking loser over here. He's mad I won't be he's he's mad that he doesn't have the cowboy UI element. Don't take don't take your hatred out on me. <laughs> There's like an archipelago over here. Also, you wanna know what I was saying to Kami at one point? I was like, I feel like we should just go through the entirety of the spire, right? With only killing stuff with the last words, since it's supposed to be the cowboy gun. I actually was gonna make a build that was only cowboy themed weapons, but unfortunately all of the cowboy themed weapons are dog shit. So like I couldn't I couldn't justify it. My damage was too bad. There are no deer. Probably because it's nighttime. I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. There are deer, you're just not Uh I'm sure there are, but I'm not gonna go looking for them. They're shamans and they scare me. 20 minute deer hunting stream. How am I doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Uh, yeah, I mean, most of today has just been like, oh, let's go do X thing. Oh, we need deer hive. Oh, let's go do this thing. Dog Janir is here, hive. too. <laughs> Everybody's shown up to watch me hunt deer for 20 minutes. I'm back at the base if you want to go to sleep. Kami is defaulting on why I hate you. I don't hate you, but you do embarrass us. I play Destiny 2 with Kami, who's in the stream right now, in the chat. Everybody point and laugh at him. Uh, and, and Tim, who's also here. Um, I play with these two fine gentlemen. And Kami's just pissed that he doesn't have all the cowboy cosmetics like I do. Because I threw my head against the wall constantly to get them. I, I spent like a whole weekend doing it. It fucking sucked. Don't take your anger out on me because you're not rooting and tooting like I am. When you're trying to do the Legend of the East Satchel and Rented Redemption 2, you won't help me get the hat. I will help you get the hat anytime you want. Just ask. I'll help you do it. Am I not approachable? Is that what it is? You know that he's going to ask you to right now. Anyway. He's going to ask me to right now, of course. <laughs> the stream's just going to end. I'm going to quit the stream right then. I'm going to open up Destiny 2. And I'm going to fucking drag his ass through the dungeon and get him the stupid hat. Just out of pure spite. Just out of spite. Everybody, the Valheim stream is over. It's a Destiny 2 cowboy stream, and you can't... It's not negotiable. Holy shit, what happened over here? Did you kill, like, four Greylaws over there? I, I don't want to talk about that as well. <laughs> you need 
It's so much deer hide. So much perfect deer hide. I, do, I really need to sit down and play Red Dead Redemption 2. When I was younger, I played so much Red Dead Redemption 1. I was, I was on the Xbox Live multiplayer servers of Red Dead Redemption 1 running around in my cowboy outfit lassoing up people and whatever. It was a good time. I don't think you could lasso in the first game, but do you get what I mean? Uh, I played it a lot, and then I opened up Red Dead Redemption 2 as a grizzled old boomer man like me. And I just... I just... Could, I played like a couple hours. I don't know. I wasn't in the right headspace. I knew I wasn't, you know? It's nothing against the game. The game is phenomenal. I just... I wasn't down to be a cowboy that day. Oh, shit. Oh! Fuck, I was too busy talking about cowboys. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. Unless it's towards me, idiot. Haha. -ha. Nice. And my inventory's full. Full of garbage. Don't need this. I need the meat. Thank you. Why are you guys... Why are the three of you just so obsessed with following me to throwing rocks at me? You haven't even hit me once. I don't know, man. What else are they going to do in their spare time? They got nothing going on. Lost is rooting and tooting. Your destiny propaganda won't work on me. You should streak Red Dead 2? Dingo. We've been over this. Stop asking me to post my nudes on Twitch.com. I'll post them gladly in my OnlyFans, which you are welcome to subscribe to. I encourage it, in fact. And guest appearances with Kami. Guest appearances with Kami every Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, guess... <laughs> but I ain't doing it live on Twitch anymore. I already got a, I already got a community ban strike for that. I don't want to get in trouble again village over here. Ooh. And there's the classic hub. Freudian slip, he says. <laughs> um, God, more deer would be very cool. How much deer hide do you have? I only have two. Four. Okay, we just need another, another four. It doesn't help that I'm lost in the sauce talking about cowboys. Listen, if you guys wanted me to stream Red Dead 2, I'd uh, I'd consider it. Why not? I'd stream Red Dead 2. Oh. I mean, you're already doing Persona 2. I mean... Yeah, Persona... So, I'm doing Persona twice a week. Uh, Both of the... those are gonna probably want to be twice a week ones, I have to imagine. Oh, so yeah. They're... Red Dead is pretty long as well. It is pretty long. I know that. I gotta get through Persona 2. Or Persona 5. Uh, and once once that's done, I'll have an open slot. I mean, I could add Red Dead 2, but I'd have to do it on weekends. And currently weekend streams are uh, multiplayer stuff with Sam. Oh, another one. Fuck. No. God, I'm having just the worst time. I should really be sneaking, but... Fuck. Are you serious? I should just use my spear, to be honest. I have a better time hunting with the spear anyway. Blue-eyed shufflers and luck. The neck are small lizards native to Valheim. Surly and mean-spirited, they will attack on sight and must be destroyed when burned. They stay near water because the creature of the land loath and abhor them. Yet no creatures but all bad. Their tails are delicious. This is exactly what happens when you hunt deer in Red Dead 2 as well. Great. I want Tony to have two 100-hour series going right now. Yeah, that sounds great for my health. That sounds exceptionally excellent just, for just my health. Just stop playing Persona 5 at like an hour and a half in and just then continue to stream for another hour and a half. That's, uh, that's for sure what I'm going to start doing. I'm just going to start interrupting streams and then just start other streams at the same time. So, like, like this one. We'll just end Valheim and just start Destiny 2. <laughs> <laughs> no, one, replace, no one will have it. Replace me with Kami because I have to go cook dinner. Yep, I'll just kick you out. Kami will be in. Yeah, and then just start playing Destiny with Kami. 
It's perfect, perfect. Hey, this is a cute little village. There's like a lot of villages on this, uh, in this seed. Hey, hold on! There's straight up just another village across the water, right over there. There's straight up two of them, just right next to each other. Hold on. What an interesting, uh, starter island this is. I really like it. Yeah, this one's been nuts. It's been very generous, for sure. How are you doing with your deer hunting? I'm doing Why absolutely not? terribly. Dinner for my family. <laughs> Why kick him out? Uh, because I hate him. I actually hate Tim a lot. Um, which is why I invite him to things often. It's because I actually despise him at like a core level. It's a very deep and complex relationship that we have. It's like a, um, it's like a Sonic and Shadow the Hedgehog sort of thing. I don't know which one of us is which, but don't ask. I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you. Or more, maybe it's like a Knuckles and, and Rouge kind of thing. I haven't figured out the dynamic fully. Um, I guess now it is more of a Knuckles and Rouge thing, considering they both wear cowboy hats. You know, because both of us have cowboy hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why am I mean to him? I don't know why. You know why? I do know why. It's because Kami's in my chat... And I love being just very rude to the people in my chat, and then and then hitting them with like a heart emoji, and everything's forgiven. It's fine. It's fine. For real though, I think Tony would have fun with Red Dead Two streams. You know how we get all get emotionally attached to NPCs. We'd all go Gaga just for so many Red Dead Two NPCs. That's fair. I, I, you know, I like playing games that have NPCs that you guys can can vibe with. You know, and at the same time, I like having a. Uh, I don't feel rested anymore. I like having a crafting game like this because it gives me time to talk about movies and such. I don't get a lot of time to talk in the Persona 5 streams because there's a lot happening. <laughs> it's going to be like 20 oh, years to... later and finally I'll be done. I meant to ask game. you because I, I like dropped into one Persona 5 stream. Uh, you have, like, because it's PC, you have like all those like little items you can put for it. Yeah. Uh, there's, I just wanted to give you a heads up. They give you like 10 versions of like a lot of those necklaces, right? Mm -hmm. uh, entirely a pointless to a bit more than one in party. Oh. Uh, like yeah, I guess I'll have to re equip everything then. Duplicates, at least. I think the XP one is the only one that works because it's individual. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. I just have the XP charm on everybody. Yeah, I think that one, that one's the only one that works, but if you have, like, somebody with, like, the money bonus, right, there's no point equipping four money bonus points. That's fair. Yeah, I just put XP on everybody, because leveling up in RPGs is good, so why wouldn't I do that? that that's what I did for a very long time, but I was starting to hurt for stuff. I like this being bullied for not having a hat. <laughs> Tell your family you need to grind destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys. I think this is a good place. Tim's gotta go make food. I couldn't find enough... Well, I could find deer, but I was just too busy talking to fucking kill them appropriately. That's more on me than anything. But... should have a skeleton with my fist right now. They're also super annoying to fight. I fucking hate... So, listen. When you're when you're hunting deer and they're in an open field, it's great. You can sneak up, sneak up on them. But if you're in the woods... Oh, this is a crypt here. I'm sorry. Can you sucks. mark where I am? Uh, so I, I have, like, five skeletons on Where are you? Oh, you're way up there. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mark that as a crypt. Crypt. Alright, it's marked on the map. I am... Yeah, we'll call it a stream here. Um, nothing going on this weekend, so we'll see you guys again on Tuesday for, uh, for some more Persona. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I'll let you guys know how Renfield is. I'll probably make a tweet about it. Um, the Mario movie had a cum jar in it, but I don't think Renfield will. But if it does, I'll let everybody know. Uh, that way my Twitter account can just be... Does this movie have a cum jar in it? The Twitter account. Uh, bye bye. Have a good night.